We're going to solve puzzle number 35 in this video. This puzzle is from Puzzles to Go, volume 126 by Soap Opera Digest. In this video we're going to learn how to use the Sudoku double row and column elimination technique. My name is Harold Nolte. I have almost 170 videos on this channel about Sudoku and how to solve uh, difficult, fairly difficult puzzles and lots of different techniques and patterns to, to do that. There's also a website, sudokuprimer.com, where you can find a lot of information about patterns, techniques, and uh, lots of other Sudoku information. There's a new history section out there that talks about the history of Sudoku, which is quite interesting. So in this puzzle we're going to, um, as I said, we're going to use the double row and double column elimination to uh, find numbers and you'll, you'll learn how to use it. You can also go to sudokuprimer.com and uh, look under the techniques section and you can find write up on that where you can read about it and learn more about the technique. So to get started I'm just going to fill in a few easier numbers and some of these I won't explain how I get them because they're simpler. Like that three is pretty straightforward um, but if you have a question if you're not sure exactly how I uh, get some of these numbers uh, please leave a comment and I'll try and explain, uh, try and answer your questions and explain how I, how I got them. Now this uh, box 7 here is pretty, pretty easy to complete. We'll just finish that one. Now at this point, um, we've got a double row and a double column situation. Now let me show you that. We've got a 6 here and a 6 here, so that means one of these two have to be a 6. Okay. And you'll notice that those two cells are in row 4 and row 5. Now we've got a 6 here and a 6 here. So one of these two cells has to be a 6. So we've got two boxes with row 4 or 5 where they have to be a 6. So one of these has to be a 6, one of these has to be a 6. Okay. And because of that, these two rows can be eliminated and we know that this 6 has to be here or here in box 5 because they can't be anywhere else because because of this technique I just mentioned a double row elimination we've eliminated eliminated these two rows and these two boxes and therefore the six has to be in one of these two boxes okay. now let's look up here we've got a six here and a six here so the six in box two has to be here or here now we've got two columns where a 6 has to go in this box and the same two columns where a 6 has to go in this box. So we've eliminated these two columns. So the 6 has to be in this column here. Well we've got a 6 here and a 6 here so we know that's a 6. So that is the technique of double row and double column elimination and this puzzle was great because it had an example of both the row and the column. The row elimination was here and the column elimination was here and therefore we could put this 6 in. Now if you look at this you don't see any 6's here you know it could very without knowing that you could see that you'd think that the 6 could possibly go here also. Okay, now there's another example of a double, um, double row and column elimination that will come later in this puzzle. 
So uh, bear with me and we'll get to that one. And now let's see. We've got, uh, let's look at this column right here. We're missing 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We've got a 2, 3, and a 4 here, so we know that's a 5. So we have 2, 3, and 4 left. So 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4. So we can't solve any more there. What are we missing here? We're missing 1, 5, 8. 1, 5, and 8. There's a 5 there and a 1 there, so we can put the 8 there. Let's, uh, now we, we notice that we've got a 1 and a 5 here, 1, 5 twins here. So we know none of these can be a 1 or a 5. So let's see if we can look at this column here and do anything with it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, and 9 are the missing numbers here. We've got 6, 7, and 8 there. So that's a 9. Now we're missing 6, 7, and 8. There's a 6 and an 8, so that's a 7. And now we're missing 6 and 8. There's an 8 there, so we can solve this 6, 8. 6 and 8 also now. Okay. And if you remember, we had um, these 6s here. That was one of the two rows that had the 6. The other two row was here, so I'm um, so, yeah, and so in this column, in this column, we have the six, so we can fill in that six right there. Now let's see, we've got an eight here, an eight here, so we can fill in an eight there. All right. So now we've got a nine there. Nine there and a nine there. Okay, those are pretty straightforward, so I won't talk about them. All right, now we've got a three here, so we have ghost threes here, so one of these has to be a three, so that's a three right there. And with that three, we can fill in a three there. Three, three, three there. And we also have a, let's see, a two and a two, so that's a two right there. All right, let's look at this column right now. We've got a One, seven, one and seven missing. So we can solve those right now. Let's see, what are we missing in box one here? Seven, nine, we're missing there, so we can solve those two. Missing, let's see, one, six and seven there. And if you remember, these were our sixes from our double column completion or double column elimination. So we have a six and a seven there. We have a six here. Now, using um, the ambiguity rule. If you look in the techniques section of sudokuprimer.com, you can read up about the ambiguity rule. I, I have this in a, quite a few of my videos because this is a very powerful uh, rule that can help you with lots of, lots of uh,
puzzles in, in very difficult situations. And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. We have a six, seven twins here. We know one of these is a six. So we know that neither of these can be a seven. So we've got a seven here. We know one of these has to be a seven because these can't be. And so we've got a seven there, ghost sevens there. So we know one of these is a seven. There's a seven there already. So we can fill in that seven right there. But now, um, in addition to that, we have a um, ghost sevens here too. Or seven there and seven there. So one of these has to be a seven. And we know this can't be a seven. And now that we filled that in, we know that's not a seven. So. Um, but this is our, our ambiguity rule, or unique rectangle, which it's sometimes called. We know the 7 has to go here. So we have another double column elimination situation here. Neither of those, or one of these has to be a 7, and one of these has to be a 7. So the 7 in box 2 here has to be in this column. We've got a 7 there and a 7 there already, so we know that's a 7. So we can fill in that 6 there. And now that we filled in that six, we know that's a six right there. So, all right. Now let's look at uh, let's look at column nine here. We've got only two numbers missing here: two, five, two, five, and here we're missing a two and a five also. So we have two five twins in row 8 and two 5 twins in row 4. So we know these are two 5 twins and there's only two numbers missing um, in addition to these two 5's here. We have two 5 twins here so we know what these two numbers are. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they're 1 and 8. So we can fill those in. This right here. Here's a column where we're only missing two numbers. One, five, one and five, and it makes these one, two, four. One and five here. One five twins there, two four twins there. We filled in this one so we can fill in those two numbers. And now we have So we have these two five twins here. Let's look at this row right here. We're missing two, four, five. Two, four, and five we're missing here. We're missing two five there, two five there. So that has to be a four because we have two five twins there. And we've got a four there and a four there. So we know that has to be a four. So that's a two because of that. And now Remember, one of these is a 7. Well, we can also see now that um, there's only two numbers left in this row. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Four sevens. So, these are two 5 twins also because of these four sevens right here. Four 7 twins. So, um, we, can't, we can't solve the two 5 twins, but we can solve the four 7 twins. So now we've got 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5. Got a lot of 2, 5's there. Let's look at uh, this box now, because we know these are 2, 5 twins, so there's only two numbers left here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 1 and 3, so we can solve those. Now let's see, in row 
7 here, we've got two numbers missing, 3, 5, 3 and 5 are missing, so we can fill those in. Now we've only got two numbers missing here in box 8, 2, 2 and 7. Can we fill those in? Yeah, there's a 7 there, so 2 and 7. Let's look at row 2 here. What are we missing here? We're missing 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, and 5. We know that's a 1, 5 because these are 1, 5 twins. So that's going to be 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 5. There's a 1 and a 2 there, so we know that's a 5. And because of that 5, we can fill in the 1, 5 twins in box 3. All right, now we're only missing three numbers here. We're missing a two there. We're missing one, four. One, four is missing there, so we can fill those in. All right, and now the only thing we have left now is these two fives that we found before. Okay, so let's see if we can find those. There's a two right there, so there's a five, two, five, two, and five, Two. And we're done. All right. Well, um, that wasn't too bad. Now, uh, if you remember, uh, we were talking about the double row and double column elimination, and we used these. We had sevens, a seven in one of these two cells, and a seven in one of these two cells. So we found this seven because of that. And then we had a double row elimination here in combination with a double combination or a column elimination here in order to find this six. So you can see the double row and double column elimination technique can be quite um, handy to use. Um, look at uh, sudokuprimer.com and you'll find. section in techniques called double row and column elimination. Alright, well that does it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.